Hey, on this Ask Katrina, the question is, Katrina, how do I know if I'm living my why? How do I know if I'm living my purpose when it comes to my career? It's a great question. You know, inherently, sometimes we're all looking around or asking ourselves, am I doing the right thing? Am I in the right place? Is this the right job for me? We all ask ourselves components of those questions. Maybe we ask ourselves all of those questions. I know, you know, at different points of my career and in my life, I've asked those questions. And so it's common. So if you're asking that, again, I will always tell you on these Ask Katrina's in particular, the reason why I'm doing these videos is because these questions are so common and I get them so often that I want you to know that if you're asking yourself that question, you're not alone. It's a common question and there is an answer for it. Okay. So. That said, if you're trying to understand, are you living out your why? Are you living out your purpose? Then there are a couple of questions I have to ask back to you. And the answers to these questions will let you get steps closer or at least will empower you to better understand, are you living your purpose or not? And so the first thing is I would ask you, is, what are your gifts? What are you really good at? Right? And if you don't know, if you're sitting there going, oh, I don't know, Katrina, I'm not really good at anything. It's not true. You are. You're just probably not used to allowing yourself to acknowledge it. And that is also common. OK, but here's the point. You do have gifts. We all have gifts. We all have things that we're very good at. So the way that you figure out what your gifts are is you can do a couple of things. Number one, you can ask people, what do you think I'm good at? Ask them. They'll tell you. Right. You won't tell yourself you're harder on yourself than you are on other people. So just ask them. They'll tell you. The other thing that you can do is I want you to ask yourself, what do people come and ask for my help with? What am I sort of known for? And you can ask yourself that question just in the world or specifically at work, but what are you known for? Those answers are typically what represents your gifts. And so between getting feedback from other people and asking yourself that question, you'll come up with the answer of what are your gifts? And then the next question I want you to be able to answer is, now that you know what your gifts are, are you able to actively use them in a way that contributes to the organization that you work for? That will help you understand if you're living your why, because you you feel really good. You feel like you're serving when you're able to use your gifts and talents in a way that helps other people. We all do. That's a human thing. And so my gift and talent is talking, right? Hello, teaching, solving problems, identifying problems, boiling them down to the simplest form and giving the simplest answer that we're all like, God, that was a simple answer. Of course, I'm going to go do that. That's my gift. And so I get to use that gift every single day. I love it. And so I know I'm living my purpose. When you figure out what your gifts are and then look and say, am I able to use these gifts in a way that number one, energizes me. And number two, I use them in a way that really contributes, that helps serve other people. If the answer to that is yes, where you are in your position today, then there you go. You're probably living your purpose. You may be pinching yourself. It may feel too good to be true. That's why you're asking yourself that question. Conversely, it could be the fact that you've answered these questions for yourself. You're looking around and the answer is no, you're really not able to use your gifts in a way that you feel like you're truly contributing to the level that you could or that you want to. And if that's the answer, then you're probably still living your purpose, but you need to find a way to better live your purpose, to truly live out your why and give your gifts from a perspective of contribution. And so in that instance, now you know what you're looking for in a career uh, move, not a total career. You already have a career, but in a career move, in your next step, in your next position, in your next promotion, now you know what you're looking for. And that clarity is going to drive you to help you step into that role with even more confidence and preparedness. So there you go.